Hi Scorpio, welcome. So Scorpio, this is going to be your June reading and I'm doing something special this month. I'm combining my spiritual general readings with the you versus them. So the first portion of the reading is going to be the general spiritual portion and then the second portion will be the detailed you versus them reading. If you're only interested in the you versus them, you can click on the timestamp in the description box below and skip ahead. So, but Anyways, let's get started here, Scorpio, and I already have a card that flipped, and it is Pluto, which is your energy. They, this represents Scorpio energy here. This is talking about renewal, inner peace, your basic instinct, your personal power, um, and how far you've come. Um, Scorpio, I don't know if you've given any thought to that, but for some reason, i um, feeling encouraged to tell you that you've come a long way, Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is also a very intense and erratic energy. So sometimes this can be like very unexpected changes, um, endings, etc. So just something to be aware of for June. But let's see what other cards that we get out for you for your Scorpio. You have the Ten of Wands here and the High Priestess. So. Whatever the struggle is that you've been going through, Scorpio, there is like a guiding light here for you. This is a very intuitive, um, spiritual energy that's crowning the reading. But underneath that, it's like this very heavy feeling, okay, or these things that are piling up on you or may feel like they're piling up on you. And you might be getting to a point right now where you're like ready for change. Okay, uh, maybe you would welcome some sort of transformation, um, even if it feels intense, right? But you could take it. You're a very intense zodiac sign, um, Scorpio, and most of you do thrive in um, changing environments. So let's see what else we have here for you, Scorpio. I have the card of maturity. The card of laziness and the card of the creator. So this is just a reminder to you that you're the creator of your own experience. But there's an encouragement here to take a more laid back approach to whatever it is that you have going on right now. Um, it sounds like this is a negative card with the laziness, but actually this guy's just kind of chilling, hanging out, you know, going with the flow. And that's kind of the encouragement. And... There's also the card of maturity here, so being encouraged to hold yourself to a high standard and take the mature approach with whatever big change is coming through during this time frame. So we're going to go deeper into the headspace and see what's going on there. Then we're going to look into the heart space and then the big spiritual picture for you. You have the Eight of Swords here, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, whoa, okay, that's a whole story right there. I'm not going to keep that, but I'm going to take note of it. So Scorpio, there is um, obvious stressors showing up here, and it could be around uh, your stability, your finances. This card often talks about investments and um, working on the things that are important to you, but it's paired with the Five of Pentacles, which is talking about this like lack mentality or feeling like you don't have enough, right? Um, it's like some of you are in the process of working on building yourself up financially, but it's like the more you stress over it, the more difficult it becomes. And so <laughs> it sounds weird to take the lazy approach if you have, if you're trying to go towards something, but it's almost like the more joy and ease you can find in your every day and the more you can move away from the stress, the faster the success will come, right? So it's like, do not focus on what hasn't manifested yet and instead, instead give all of your attention and focus to 
what has manifested already that you're currently grateful for and that will help move you away from the eight of swords now you had a little mini story come out here and i wasn't going to keep it but i am going to keep it so this is talking about cooperation and looking to your future new beginnings um some of you reconciliations here um there is a, a new platform what okay um there's some sort of new opportunity that's presenting itself to you okay and now this has to deal more with relationships friendships um some of you have a very strong support system around you scorpio and don't be afraid to lean on that when you need it um especially if you're needing emotional support okay um there is an opportunity here that's showing up that maybe you've been working on or waiting on and I feel like things are going to work in your favor with whatever that is. So let's go into the heart space then. Scorpio, let's see. Six of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Devil. another story okay <laughs> and your card here the death and rebirth card nine of pentacles and the nine of cups so in the heart space again there is showing up that there's some sort of opportunity on the horizon right and i feel like this has to deal with the tangible um things you can see taste touch and feel like related to money career goals um, there's being able to take a step forward. Some of you had to take a step back and now it's time to take a step forward. Okay. Um, don't get too fixated Scorpio on again, whatever it is that is gnawing at you, because I do feel like with the devil here, there is this shadow part of you that tends to come up when you're feeling this push when you're feeling this stress when you're feeling this anxiety and not letting that get the best of you there's two cards of satisfaction here and i like i like that it's progressive right so you have the five the six the seven and the nine of pentacles so there's progression here um towards things that feel more satisfying to you being able to kind of do what you want and be who you want and putting all of your focus there this is a very autonomous energy as well so while I feel like you do have support available to you right now, I feel like the focus is mostly on self. Um, yeah, so let's go a little bit further. You have the two of pentacles, the sun. The Seven of Wands. And the Star. So, Scorpio, again, a little bit of back and forth in the energy. I love that the Sun is here, though. So, it's like reprioritizing yourself. Reprioritizing your happiness as being most important. Some of you, there's a little bit of this defensiveness showing up where... But I, but I almost feel like it's coming from a place of protection, okay? Protecting what makes you happy, protecting what's important to you. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. There is some healing here to be done. And um, the star often talks about wish fulfillment as well. So I feel like there is some sort of, again, opportunity coming through. And this could be in relationships but it could also be finances because they're heavily highlighting that follow your intuition your hard work is going to pay off stay focused scorpio okay as good things are coming and let me get one guidance and then we're going to go straight into the you versus them and break it down a little bit further as it pertains to love first <clears throat> you have the card of synchronicity this is saying that, um, are you noticing the signs of synchronicity and, the, and that the spirit world has been sending to you? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit. 
So pay attention to the signs, Scorpio. Signs, signs, everywhere signs, right? <laughs> and if you're not someone who intentionally asks for signs, I would recommend that you start doing that, right? Because the universe can only um, provide to you what you ask for. And so if you're asking for uh, guidance, look for the signs, Scorpio. All right, so now we're going to go into the you versus them portion, and I'll see you in just a minute. Welcome back to the you versus them portion. We're going to get into it and look at you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's general, so you can feel free to reverse the roles if needed. Take what side resonates with you and leave what doesn't resonate. All right, guys? So let's go ahead and get out the crowning energy between you and this person. You have the Numinous card, Piscean energy, uh, Scorpio energy. This is talking about the unknown, the unknowable, your psychic abilities, your intuition, which is really interesting because in the spiritual portion of the reading, you had the high priestess, which is kind of the same energy in a different card. So again, this very intuitive type of energy coming through, you're being guided, Scorpio, um, and it's through your emotional guidance system that you're receiving the guidance. So pay attention to how you feel um and prioritize that this also talks about shadow work so that also came up in the spiritual portion of the reading so really interesting how they're already coalescing but let's see what else for scorpio you have the chariot person scorpio is dealing with <clears throat> the ace of Swords. So, Scorpio, this is all about movement forward, but sometimes this also indicates travel or movement that may be on the horizon for you in the upcoming months. But it's definitely talking about, you know, full speed ahead, moving forward with what's important to you. This person has the Ace of Swords, which is talking about um, <clears throat> victory, clarity, answers, solutions. <clears throat> this is like being in receptive mode. So, if there's been like this hazy energy here, I feel like things are going to be cleared up um, in the upcoming month. So let's go deeper and we're going to look at the recent past, what led up to the now, how you're both perceiving each other, how you genuinely feel underneath it all, and the big spiritual pictures. Let's see, recent past energy. Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, Ooh. the Empress, and one more for Scorpio, recent past, Oops. King of Wands. So Scorpio, again, and I felt this correlation in the first part of the reading, there's a lot of focus on stabilizing yourself, your foundation, um, your security, your finances. Some of you, that may be just a high priority right now, but it also indicates taking good care of yourself and your self-esteem, to be honest with you. Now, some of you are getting a little bit of a self-esteem boost, you know, things feeling more stable, um, you being more comfortable in your own skin, and therefore, you know, the environment stabilizes. Have you ever noticed how your environment is always a reflection of what you have going on internally? So it's like the more stable you become in yourself, the more stable your life becomes. And there's some sort of reaping the benefit of that right now. So let's go into this person's recent past. <clears throat> the hangman. Justice. The devil. And the Emperor. So, person you're connecting with, um, Scorpio, I feel like this person's done their own self reflection. They've kind of turned the corner on something recently. Um, having more balance in their life is something that's really important to them. However, the devil is showing up here next to the Emperor. So, I get control issues being a factor in this connection, whether that's coming from you or this person. Um, I get it's coming from the masculine energy, so choose which side that is, but there is 
something weird about that going on here. But let's go deeper and see where this goes. All right. So let's see uh, your current perception of each other. There's just like this energy of like, how can I come out ahead on this? You know, like, how can I maintain my sense of control? <clears throat> There's the Ace of Swords again. Your perception. Perception. The devil. The nine of swords. Oh my gosh, you've got the devil out twice. Now that also showed up in the spiritual reading. So, um, as well as the eight of swords and the ten of wands. So, <clears throat> Scorpio, there's some sort of truth here being revealed that is heavy. It's heavy. It maybe something you didn't want to know there's something you found out i feel that maybe you didn't want to know and now you're stressing about it or like you're fixated on it and it feels pretty heavy to me it's like there's some sort of truth being revealed here and it keeps being followed by the devil so this is like not sitting well with you like there's something not sitting well in the energy okay um it's like finding out the truth about a situation or a person and just being like oh my god that's not what i thought it was and just it feels really heavy to me it feels really serious okay and of course this could be uh, switched around feel free to take it as it resonates but being as this is showing up in your perception I feel like this is how you feel so something's definitely happened here to cause you a lot of stress and anxiety and it's like you're carrying it around in your energy because you're fixated on it because you're ruminating. So let's see this person's perception. And I'm getting a Selena Gomez, Gomez song where she says, Take away your things and go. Can't take back what you said. You know. Um, check out that song. It may relate and or you may just randomly hear it. Take it a little bit. But Knight of Wands, the Strength card, the World, the Three of Wands, and Temperance. So this person is in the space of taking action. You know, things coming to uh, a full head or some sort of closure here. I feel like this person is headed in, I heard headed in the right direction. So uh, they are definitely in the space of getting ready to move forward with something. This person is prioritizing themselves right now um wow it's so weird to me because like you're in a totally different energy either this person is like unaware of <laughs> you know what you got going on or maybe they don't care i don't know um but they they're showing up very different energy from you so i feel like this person is in this space of yeah like looking for the fun looking for the good um trying to kind of move forward with their life find balance now don't get me wrong that there is something here lingering in this person's energy with the devil and again it has to deal with control um, because two things are being highlighted this controlling energy and this very autonomous energy so let's go deeper then <clears throat> see what's going on in the heart space how are you feeling how are you feeling when it comes to the connection there's i think there was some sort of you know i don't know what's going on with this full moon <laughs> but like virgo's reading was all about like a hidden truth 
Aquarius reading, I believe was even titled, um, the truth is being revealed. Like there is so many true colors coming out right now. And, and seemingly out of nowhere, like feeling stable, you know, things progressing and then boom, a tower moment. A lot of people experience this over the weekend, but it's lingering in the energy Scorpio. So I can't say I'm too surprised that I see this here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo, you might want to check out their reading. I think I also got a similar message in Gemini's as well. So nine of cups, seven of wands. What else? How does Scorpio feel? The Death and Rebirth card. And the Seven of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> even though I feel like your mind is fixated on something, I still feel you pushing forward, okay? Because in the heart space, it, it feels like to me that it's like you're defending your peace of mind, okay? Or like... It's like, it's funny because you're kind of contradicting your your own energy and I don't think you're intentionally doing it, but it's like, you know, I'm going to protect my peace at all costs, but then I'm going to dwell and think about what feels terrible to me at the same time. And you can't do both, right? <laughs> like you can't dwell and be happy at the same time. So there is an impact to your energy to some degree, although I do feel you're in this stance of protective mode. And I also got that in the spiritual portion of the reading. Um, and then again, the seven of pentacles, which is like this patient, patiently waiting energy, but also putting in time, energy and effort into other areas of your life, Scorpio, because you can't just sit around all day and wait on other people, okay? Um, hmm. Let's go further. How does this person feel in the emotional space? Seven of Swords. Ooh, really interesting, really interesting reading. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, two of Swords. So, Scorpio, holy cow. Well, um, <laughs> what? Remember I just was saying that like your head and your heart are kind of in two separate places. Well, for this person, it's like their head is in the space of like, I'm going to take action. I'm going to move forward, you know, like, yeah, I got this type of energy, but in their heart space, there is a lot of insecurity, worry, doubt, but there's also, there's also something being hidden. And how did I call that one? The Seven of Swords. This Seven of Swords was all over the Virgo and Scorpio readings. It's paired with the King of Pentacles. So to break this down into even more detail, if you're a fem, if you're dealing with a masculine, this is masculine energy. So this is the masculine, okay? There is something going on deceitful in the masculine energy, and it has to deal with attention being given and their past. This person may be secretly giving attention to someone from their past, and you may have been unaware of that, but becoming aware of that. And like this person has this false idea that like they're in control of the situation <laughs> or they want to appear like they're in control of the situation, but the devil is what lies underneath, right? So that's like a very, it's 
dark shadowy side of them. Wow. <clears throat> and if you're the masculine Scorpio, we'll take what side what resonates with you, but you could be dealing with another masculine like that, but I, I feel like the one that is being secretive is the one who carries more of the masculine energy, even if they're a female, you know, I hope that makes sense. The, let's go further. <clears throat> Most likely future outcome as of now, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Justice, and the Eight of Swords. So, Scorpio, I feel like you're trying to maintain your balance. You're trying to maintain your peace. But it's like you can't unsee something. You can't unknow something. You know what I mean? Like, once you uncover something, it's like you can't go backwards. You know what I mean? Like, once somebody reveals a piece of them that is disturbing, right, you can't unsee it. Right? It just kind of forever lives in your brain, especially as a fixed sign. And as me, I'm an Aquarius, but I have a Scorpio in my chart. I've got a lot of fixed energy in my chart. Like, I know exactly what this energy is. It's like, not saying you can't move on, you can't get over it, but you, but it lives in you. Like, you never unsee it. You know what I mean? And it's like, you may have tried to blind yourself to it, Scorpio, but it's still permeating here and then there's this energy of like maybe needing to emotionally express that or express yourself some of you what you can't unknow is that this person was communicating with someone else maybe or Keeping their options open. I don't know. It doesn't feel good to me. It feels really icky. I'm just going to say it. But at the same time, Spirit wants you to understand that you have options. That you're not left without. That, that actually, if you break it down, that your energy is the more stable one. Um... Let's see this person's most likely future outcome. Five of Pentacles. The Empress. The Page of Swords. And the Three of Cups. So, <clears throat> I feel like... Um, there's this message here about the five of pentacles again. So it's like this person, they have struggles, but they keep them to themselves. You know, like, I feel like this person also goes from like one extreme to the other of like completely apathetic almost to the opposite of that. Um, Hmm. This person is learning something through this process and they are at this moment kind of looking for emotional support. And like I said, I feel like if this is resonating with you, where are they getting the emotional support from? You know? Um... Now, for some of you, they are getting it from friends, right? Nothing more than that. But it doesn't change that there's a clear deception here uh, in this person's heart space. Whether they're acting on it in the now, to be determined. But it's definitely been hidden in the past. This is the Three of Cups. 
Like this person is also looking for comfort right now, okay? Um, the lovers. Yeah, so I feel like this person is thinking a lot about the connection, um, the connection with you, but I also feel there's been contemplation about another connection, and it doesn't have to be an intimate connection, third party, but it could, it feels like it, but it could be that they're also weighing out, you know, like family, friends, things of that nature, but um, I feel like this person shares a bond with you, Scorpio, and they feel connected to you. And yet they're hiding something. But all will be revealed because we began the reading on the Ace of Swords and we're ending it on the Ace of Swords. So this is the Ace of Swords in this in this deck. So it's like the answers will come, the information is arriving, you know, like there's a, some sort of pause or something to think about within the connection, right? And this is like a weird message, <clears throat> but I'm going to say it like, this person is learning how to figure you out. You know, like we're, they're learning about you through this experience. Like they're learning about relationships in general, but it's like there's light bulbs going off in this person's energy and there's being answers. Uh, delivered to this person so they're receiving clarity they're going to receive truth they're going to receive answers they're going to but so are you so wow oh my gosh let's get a guidance card out man this round of readings has been intense <laughs> really really intense so let's see um <clears throat> what the guidance is here Wow, support. That's so interesting because I feel like, again, that's what this person is looking for, like the supportive, almost mothering energy. Like that's what they want, you know? And then gratitude. So their card says people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from, then they move on, while others return because you need to learn more. Pay attention. Then you have a card of gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. Focus on gratitude and you will attract prosperity and abundance, which is super interesting because the spiritual reading was more so focused on that area of your life. So maybe rewind and check it out if you didn't watch that portion. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, zodiac signs you could be connecting with or have in your own chart. I've got Gemini here. I have Taurus. <clears throat> I felt a strong Virgo and Aquarius link here. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Cancerian energy, more Libra, Scorpio energy, more Capricorn energy. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff because I do have videos and content over there. Tarot Time with Dana is the name of all my social media accounts, all of it linked in the description box below, as well as the about section of my YouTube where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Scorpio. And until next time, my friends. Hey.